Hey everyone, how you doing today? This is episode two with Jonathan Twomley. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing very well. So I told my viewers, or I, I proposed to them earlier in the week, that I was gonna I was gonna set something up for you uh, because I, I I think it might impact multifamily, but I wasn't sure. So you ready? Absolutely. So earlier in the week, I read that President now President Biden he wants to propose a fifteen thousand dollar tax credit for first time buyers. I think we've talked about this before. I think we both assumed it would kind of be a tax refund, right? You would go through the year, you'd buy your house, you'd file your taxes, that money would come back. Why? Because that's what happened last time with the $8,000 tax credit, right? We were using history as our guide. But what I just read, again, this is still a proposal, so it's not yet passed. But what Biden is now proposing, and it came out Tuesday, I think, on CNBC. I'll try to find the link again and put it in the show notes. But he wants the $15,000 tax credit to be used at point of purchase, point of purchase. So again, right, a $300,000 house, a 15K credit, you know, ignoring the math around closing costs and all of that, that's 5%. Yeah. So in my market, right, in residential, which I follow, that probably means more demand, more demand means higher prices, all of those things. But what I wanted to talk to you about specifically is assuming that happens, do you think that hurts multifamily, probably class A multifamily? Because now you get a get out of you know living in this vertical environment or this nice luxury, take this 15 grand and go buy a home because right? maybe you can't save for a down payment. I don't know. Well, I mean, so if it's a credit, then that's going to come, I guess, it'll come out of your down payment effectively, right? I mean, they're not going to readjust the mortgage price, uh, the purchase price for it. I, I don't know. So I have to think through how this actually works. Yeah, I don't. But, uh, yeah, but but let's just, let's just say that. So let's just say put it this way. I, I mean, look, anything that makes it marginally easier for people to buy a house yes. is going to have an impact on multifamily because there, it reduces the renter pool. The real issue is sort of what is the size of the impact? and where does it hit, right? Sort of, you know, and and even with, uh, you know, even with the uh, the credit, like the, the, the thing about these credits and reason, I'm not like a big fan of stuff like this <clears throat> is because the market is going to adjust to this reality and just, it just gives people more money to bid with and they just bid up the prices and they arbitrage this the credit out of existence pretty quickly it'll benefit people who move really fast on it but but it'll it won't benefit very quickly it'll just cause the price to go up and uh you know it, it'll have no effect at all except reducing tax revenue so it's you know what i mean like it just uh so i don't i don't i'm not a huge fan of it but yeah the, it, yeah um, I'm, I'm not i'm not playing fans i'm not i'm just trying to figure yeah, out yeah yeah so but yeah, that being said, I mean, I think, it, it, I honestly, I don't think it's going to have a huge impact. I think, really? it'll, I think it'll, yeah. I, and because, because I don't, because I think that, I think that other factors are currently going to overwhelm this tax credit. And the other okay. factors, the other factors are, for instance, that it is just really hard to find a house to buy at the moment. So there are a lot of people who want to move uh, who can't because there's just, not enough inventory out there uh and because there's not enough inventory out there it is very expensive and this may help some people who move really fast but like i said it'll it'll uh you know it'll quickly get the, the, it'll get spent on higher prices for 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 properties and it'll just people will just have to continue to have the same problem of affordability so i i don't i don't think that this is really going to make a huge dent okay. Uh, in, in multifamily, um, it, it may at the margins and, and it will, you know, and it's also going to, it, I think, probably uh, affect, it's even hard to figure out who it's going to affect more. Like, I don't think, for instance, it really is going to affect the, the top of the market class A renters that much. I mean, to the extent that those people have already saved up the money and they can afford to buy something, Good like point. this is just a bonus for them. Like, hey, I saved some awesome governments give me money. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't, they don't need it. Uh, yeah. And I, I haven't seen if it's means tested or not, but 
um, if it's just for first-time home buyers, I mean, you've got some wealthy people who are first-time home buyers, just as you've got some yep. less wealthy people. So I think at the upper end of the market, it probably doesn't make much difference. Okay. I think I think where it will hit is in the middle, uh, mm, where you've point. got where people who are sort of on the bubble. If they're down in C-class properties, chances are most of them can't afford to to buy. Uh, if they're rent, those are what we call the renter by necessity mm -hmm. market, not the renter by choice market. And in the B class, you've got a mixture of both, right? So you've got some renters by necessity, some renters, lifestyle renters, they call them. And so I think maybe for those lifestyle renters, uh, and maybe if, you know, maybe this pushes a few people from the, out of the renter by necessity hmm. class. But I think it's I think it's really marginal. And this oh, is not something that I would- that's, I'm, I'm happy to hear that, right? As somebody who yeah. owns apartments, and again, what, I just wanted to kind of lay this out for you. And, and I, you obviously know this, but I want the audience to hear it. The hardest time for me to be a landlord for apartment buildings was actually 2006 and seven. It was the only time I did move in specials. It was the only time I did half off rent. It was all of those things. But, but when I go back and think about what was going on, people were getting yes answers on loans that shouldn't. Right. They were they, we were basically taking people who were supposed to be renters by necessity and giving them loans to to use that. And that was no. my fear with this program. But maybe, you know, what I've what I've since learned from that knee jerk reaction is maybe there'll be guardrails and credit guidelines and things because we haven't seen the program. But that was my fear is we'd have a lot more yes answers than we should have. Yeah. And I think but another <clears throat> another thing that was different than versus now is mm -hmm. also that, you know, home building was like going like gangbusters, Very right? True. So there was a lot of new home construction and um, and it was being fueled by these liar loans and- mm -hmm. Ninja uh, loans and all that. Ninja yeah. loans and all, you know, two years interest only and mm -hmm. like all this kind of stuff that was, it was really driving that market it is now uh, much more difficult to build homes pretty much everywhere even in the pro building states yeah it is di more difficult to build homes uh it's more expensive to build them you know actually somebody just so a friend of mine who builds homes just emailed me the other day and told me that their lumber cost had doubled wow um, so they were they were spending something like seventeen thousand per home on lumber and now they're spending actually it's more than double it's like thirty eight thousand uh and they're they're just eating the cost, right? They're still making enough profit that they're just taking that. They're not raising the cost of mm. their homes, but but eventually it will translate into that. But the but the, pro, the the point is though is it it def, you know you make something more expensive, it dampens the supply of it, right? So it's 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 not. I don't think it's like it was in two thousand you know that's, six. That's I, I actually idea. saw this myself. I saw this myself as a renter actually in New York City in the early two thousands when. The same you were seeing the same thing when interest rates had been dropped precipitously to deal with the the post dot com crash and 9 11 and you know the fed just slashed interest rates to next to nothing and suddenly everybody wanted to buy you know and, and gentrification just ramped up like nuts and people started moving to to brooklyn in droves and in manhattan they were offering one month two months three months free mm. rent uh, because it was so hard to get renters because everybody wanted to buy. Uh, that, you know, you're not seeing right now, um, but you're seeing the free rent, but that's not because of the, mm -hmm. not because people are buying. Um, but the, the uh, I, I, I don't think that it's, the, I don't think you're going to see a repeat of that. Cool. All right. Uh, well, I'm, I was, uh, I didn't know which, which way this would go. So this, this is good. So maybe at the margins, a couple of, you know, a couple of points, but not nothing, nothing like last time. Yeah, I don't think that this is going to lead to like an exodus out of rental properties because I think there are still very cool sufficient headwinds um, in the in the way of it. Plus, you've also I think had a lot of the people who you know we saw that huge jump in home ownership take place last year. We did, and I, and I think that and we're it's hard to push it past. I mean, look, we pushed it to seventy percent at the, the the top of the housing bubble. It was a pad, didn't work out very well. Uh, and 65% seems to be the natural long-term average for home ownership. It's now higher than that. Um, and I don't think, that, I think now we're really at the margins of like, 
trying to extract those those last couple of percentage okay. points. And I, I think it's going to be tough to to do that. Um, and I don't think this tax credit is going to be the thing that does it. Very think, cool. Yeah, I think what we need is a lot more housing supply is what what needs to happen for that to to take place. Okay, very cool. Well, thank you very much for this. We'll get into topic number three shortly. Sure.